future armored military land vehicles will require more power for propulsion and onboard power supply for the electronic systems. At the same time, they will be designed for a different tactical approach in the field. Like military aircraft, armored land vehicles on the modern battlefield require advanced methods to stay undetected in hostile environments filled with overhead surveillance systems, low-cost drones, and sophisticated sensors. Offering improved silent mobility, hybrid and electric drive systems will provide sustainability benefits and deliver potential military advantages, reducing noise and increasing stealth capability. Electric systems will also provide game-changing power off-board, while increased power on board will allow the vehicles to operate the latest technologies. The UK has also initiated trials of hybrid technologies on its Foxhound, Jackal, and MAN SV vehicles. The vehicles were retrofitted with HEDs, and the Foxhound was designed to have its drivetrain replaced with a HED if required. New hybrid technology is being tested on the British Army's Foxhound and Jackal 2 vehicles. Like this one operated by the Queen's Dragoon Guards, following a £3 million investment from the Ministry of Defence. The Abrams X, also presented in 2022, includes a hybrid electric drive to improve its fuel performance over the original Abrams. However, it is also likely to be useful in powering the many mission systems that the vehicle is expected to carry. Rolls-Royce has unveiled its new MTU hybrid propulsion system for armored vehicles, designed to enhance stealth and efficiency on the battlefield. The new engine will feature a hybrid powerpack design that significantly reduces fuel consumption while introducing a stealth element for armored land vehicles. Revealed last week at the Eurosatory Defense Trade Fair in Paris, the hybrid engine drew considerable attention for its impressive tactical potential. The new MTU short for motor and un turbine and union which translates to engine and turbine union hybrid drive system, developed by Rolls-Royce's power systems division, is a 10-cylinder variant of the company's MTU Series 199 engine, featured in several NATO armored vehicles including the Spanish ASCOD Pizarro, German Boxer, and Polish Opel IAPC. Rolls-Royce says the new MTU hybrid engine addresses this need by allowing armored vehicles to operate without the noise and thermal footprint of traditional diesel-powered vehicles. The hybrid propulsion system combines a high-performance diesel engine with an electric battery drive. This combination provides over 1,100 kilowatts 1,475 horsepower of, of power. This expected power output would place the MTU hybrid on par with the Honeywell AGT-1500 multi-fuel turbine engine featured in the M1 Abrams battle tank. The MTU hybrid engine also features a specially developed and customized silencer, which significantly reduces the noise of an armored vehicle during low-speed and high-speed driving. This capability is particularly beneficial for covert operations and the tactical positioning of armored forces. The hybrid system offers a performance boost in combat scenarios by combining the electric drive with the diesel engine for rapid acceleration and increased top speeds. This dual-mode capability provides a tactical edge, allowing armored vehicles to respond swiftly to dynamic battlefield conditions. One of the new hybrid system's primary benefits is its ability to operate in an anti-idling mode. This feature allows the vehicle to run on battery power while stationary, maintaining essential systems without the noise and thermal output of an idling diesel engine. This hybrid electric design not only enhances stealth, but also significantly reduces fuel consumption, as the diesel engine, typically a significant fuel guzzler, can be turned off. Armored vehicles are notorious for their high fuel consumption due to their heavy armor and powerful engines. For example, the M1 Abrams has an appalling fuel efficiency of 0.6 miles per gallon, the battle tank requires a 504.4-gallon fuel tank to achieve an operational range of 265 miles on the road or 124 miles cross-country. The high fuel consumption of armored vehicles has always posed significant logistical challenges and typically dictates the pace and extent of armored offensives. Additionally, as often seen in the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine, the logistics of supplying fuel to armored units can be complex and vulnerable to enemy action. Rolls-Royce says that by addressing this long-standing issue, its hybrid propulsion system will enhance the sustainability of armored operations, 
offering users a strategic edge in modern warfare. The hybrid drive concept is designed to fully integrate within the vehicle, occupying minimal space to allow for more equipment and personnel. The core of the solution is a highly mobile and extremely compact drive solution, taking into account increasing cost pressure, tight budgets, and the need for significantly larger vehicle fleets. At present the MTU hybrid is at the early concept stage of development. However, its overall design is based on the Rolls-Royce's MTU Series 199 engine. The MTU Series 199 engines have a long history of reliable performance in various military applications. Since 2000, around 4,000 units have been produced, powering NATO military vehicles, including the British Ajax family of vehicles and the USM-10 Booker Next Generation Armored Fighting Vehicle. Rolls-Royce believes the new 10-cylinder MTU hybrid will continue the Series 199's legacy while offering enhanced power, efficiency, and increased stealth capabilities for the next generation of armored vehicles. This propulsion concept will expand the operational possibilities of future tracked armored vehicles in a way that was previously hardly imaginable. The UK has also initiated trials of hybrid technologies on its Foxhound, Jackal, and Man SV vehicles. These tests will ensure the UK armed forces have the latest, safest and most efficient technology, while continuing to support prosperity across the UK. Alongside delivering multiple technical and operational enhancements, the introduction of hybrid technology will ultimately reduce the Army's reliance on fossil fuels a step towards the government's 2050 net zero goal. Adopting greener technology into the MOD's equipment fleet is part of the department's strategy to reduce its contributions to carbon and greenhouse gas emissions. Measures like this will be reflected in the department's ongoing climate change and sustainability review. The review will focus on a range of initiatives from the MOD's NZ50 strategy to setting the right baseline for defense's emissions and carbon footprint. With findings set to be published in December 2020, this next-generation Army vehicle technology is being tested under the Protected Mobility Engineering and Technical Support PMETS program, which is ensuring that the UK's cutting-edge fleet of 2,200 armoured vehicles are continuously updated and upgraded.